This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. What I'm looking at today is the first season of Netflix's Current, and I think that's how you pronounce it. In any case, this is an interesting series, mainly in the way that it has all the elements to work really well, and yet never gels. Let me give you an example of what I mean. It has an old hotel, which was the scene of a terrible crime. And by the way, don't miss the little homage to Kubrick's The Shining. And it has wolves. It has an entire sunken town and a bell tower which sticks from the water. And by the way, that's actually real. There was a town, Curran, which the old town, if you will, was underwater due to building of a dam. So it's got tons of atmosphere it has all sorts of interesting things, but as I said, nothing seems to gel. And part of this, I think, has to do with the fact that the series doesn't tell you why any of this is happening. It mentions a curse. Oh, let me back up a little. The series revolves around the Reina family, who the grandfather stayed in a town while his daughter and her two children lived in Milan, I believe. So for whatever reason, her and the two children, the twins, go back to Curran and all the weirdness starts. And part of that is this curse where for some reason, people are being duplicated and the duplicates seem to come from the town which has been submerged by the dam. Now, there's nothing wrong with this concept, actually. The problem is, as I said, the series doesn't tell you why any of this is happening. You're supposed to take it on faith, and you do. But we need to understand why are events unfolding as they are. As I mentioned a few times, they mentioned that there's a curse. But there's no detail given about this curse. We don't know anything about it other than it exists. And it sounds more like hearsay than any real curse. And it appears that this has been happening for quite a while. What is going on with this series? Give us groundwork to why things are happening as they are. And as I said, it's not a bad series. It's gorgeous to look at. Very high production values. It looks great. And it's well acted. But the story, which is arguably one of the most important parts of the series, is so lacking and so doesn't come together, it comes off more as just confusing and odd. I just don't honestly know what this is. It very much has horror elements to it. The violence, there are wolves, the doppelgangers, the submerged town, there are elements of horror films, but that's the problem. It's less a horror series than elements of horror movies thrown together lasting seven episodes, which is such a pity because it's naturally atmospheric. The hotel, the town, some of the creepy town's folk, it works on that level, but there's no depth to it. And I have to emphasize, it's not bad. It's just that the story seems to be an afterthought. Now keep in mind something. They could fill in a lot of these blanks in a second series. I don't know if there will be a second series, but you can certainly make these events clearer. But at the same time, I think it would have been better to let viewers know why this is happening. Just calling it a curse doesn't explain why duplicates of people are rising from a fucking sunken town. That this is happening just, it's just, it's not even ludicrous because within horror movies, these type of happenings aren't unusual. But the thing is, typically you're giving an explanation for why it's happening. Just have a few background characters mention a curse every once in a while, doesn't explain why this is happening. And Another interesting thing is that the doppelgangers, the duplicates, aren't evil. They seem to have this 
overwhelming desire to kill their originals, but they aren't evil in and of themselves. Which is to say, once they kill their original, they're good to go. They're just a regular person, Soria. And they don't do anything that's particularly bad from that point on. So they're not even necessarily villains because they want to live as much as anyone else. So it's a hard series to really like. As I said, it's not bad, it's well produced, it's gorgeous to look at, it's well acted, but if the writers had just made it clear why these events are happening, and to say curse doesn't work, it's not nearly enough information, you could enjoy it better. As it stands, Curran is a young adult-ish series, and I find it difficult to even call it that because it very much revolves around quite a few adults, but it has elements of young adult series. It's not bad. Unfortunately, it's not that good either. And as I said earlier, it takes a lot of interesting ideas and goes nowhere with them. It might as well be called Half-Baked Ideas, the series. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Did you agree with my review of the series? Did you like it perhaps a little more than I did? Let me know down below.